Another week, another storm to monitor for FSU football. I'm Alberto Camargo, your College Town neighborhood reporter. As of Friday afternoon, the Seminoles game against Boston College is still scheduled to go ahead, but the uncertainty surrounding a storm named Lee may throw a wrench in their plans. That's not stopping fans from getting ready for Saturday. I'm here at Bowdens, College Town's newest spot to catch the Knolls, and the staff are excited to host its first watch party. General Manager Keith Austin says even if the rain delays the game, Bowdens will keep the party going. I hope that it's packed, I hope. Uh, you know, we always do well on away games, we do little specials and things, so hopefully we have a covered patio, it helps us a lot, and you know, we're excited, we're, we're hoping for the best. Um, and if the rain does come, we're gonna invite people in, just like we always would, and say, hey, come on in, have fun with us. Friday, tropical storm warnings went into effect for parts of the Boston area. People in the Northeast are preparing along the coast. With those warnings in effect, I asked first to know meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland what a tropical storm warning means ahead of the game. It's going to be it looking like a pretty sloppy game. I mean, you got wind gusts, you know, 20, 30 miles per hour on top of anywhere, you know, even higher sustained winds at times. I mean, we've got a lot going on for that football game, not to mention the winds, but, you know, the rain obviously affecting the passing game, the turf, you know, how the game is going to be played. In our FSU football kickoff special, we told you heavy rain can give the offense a slight advantage based on weather and game stats. With the storm passing so close, we'll have to keep a close eye on the game. If everything goes ahead without a hitch, you can watch the Knowles Saturday at noon right here on ABC 27.